afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Wow, I don't get to do two videos on a Saturday very often, but just got another small Class A in uh, from Parkway RV Center. These are very, very popular. This one will not last long. This is a 2017 Thor Vegas 24.1. Same thing as a Thor Axis. Smallest Class A they build. It is 25 and a half feet long with a slide out and it just turned 30,000 miles, guys. This is a nice little motor home. And these are actually pretty cool. They call these RUVs. These are kind of a, an all-purpose. They're, they're a Class A, but they're on a Class C chassis. So it's a lot smaller chassis and smaller body than most Class A's. In fact, this is smaller than most Class C's are. Built on a Ford E350 chassis, or E450. It's got the uh, 6.8 Triton V10, 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque, which will take this little motor home down the road like a rocket. Uh, these get better fuel mileage because they're more aerodynamic than a Class C. Uh, from what I'm reading on the forums and stuff like that, most people are saying they're getting around 10, 11 miles per gallon with these. Of course, I'm sure it depends on where you drive, the wind, and how fast you're driving, but that's gonna be a lot better than say just a regular Class A where you'll get around seven or eight. So you're gonna get a little better fuel mileage, very easy to drive and park. 25 and a half feet long, guys. That's not much longer than some of these vans I shoot. But let's look around it, guys. I uh, got the HD Max tinted fiberglass, which is in between a white motor home and a full body paint. Looks great. You got a slide out on this side. Got a 4KW generator, an Onan generator running. 30 amp electrical service, frameless windows. Of course, got the TPO roof system. You know, uh, the Thor Axis and the Thor Vegas are the two, probably the two best selling small motor homes on the market today. Uh, knee deep in tires. What are those? like a michelin but i can't i can't make it out it is no yeah they are michelins generator running right now it's a nice little motorhome now guys according to the factory brochure this thing is rated to tow eight thousand pounds now guys i don't care what the brochure says because they can be very misleading I don't recommend towing 8,000 pounds with any Ford E450 chassis. I mean, 5,500, 5, 6,000 pounds and max. Be your own judge, of course. I mean, you buy the motor home, it's your motor home, you tow what you want with it, but watch out for your GVWR. Got some cool features, like it's got a full length power awning. It's got a tankless water heater, which is pretty much instant hot water when you want it. It's got an outside TV, 32 inch outside television. Outside speakers for your stereo. What a nice little motor home, guys. I haven't even looked at the inside yet. But as we step inside, no smoke or pet odors. Um, we'll start here in the front cab. No flaking furniture. Thank the Lord. <laughs> no flaking furniture in this one. I guess they finally got past that by the time this was built. Um, dash looks great. It's got a shade that comes down for privacy. Uh, good visibility, guys. Of course, keep in mind, you're not sitting up as tall as you are in most Class A's because of this Class C chassis. Crank it up. Uh, 30,420.2 miles. No check engine lights. Dash air is ice cold. The backup camera works when you put it in reverse. Does have nav? Um, Bluetooth. Camera, no navigation. Hey, you can see the camera at least. Which, I mean, no big deal. I mean, everybody uses their phones now anyway. Um, 
me cut the motor off because I can operate the bed. It does have a bed over the cab. And of course it will not work if the motor's running. So, well, first of all, 32 inch TV above the door, directly across from the couch. So great place to watch television. Uh, right here by the door is your control switch. You turn that on, lower this down, and you've got a basically a full-size bed that comes down over the cab. Of course, obviously not for use when vehicle is in motion, but that's why it won't even go up or down when the ignition switch is on. Of course, you'd, you can bring it down a few more inches if you tilt your seats back. You've got your ladder. Basically a bed for a kid, safety netting and all that good stuff. Just a cool little feature. You know, if you've got a small family, something like that. You can sleep one up there safely. So this, this particular RV can sleep up to five people in a 25 and a half foot motor home. That's pretty good. And not have a cab over. And just like that, it's up. I do have the table that sets right here. I just didn't set it up. I didn't want to crowd it up too much in here, but it is in the closet. So it's got a removable table that sets here. I did set this table up in the front and that is also removable stores in the closet. LED lights in here. It's got a 13,500 BTU uh, ducted roof air, which it's kind of overkill for this small area, so it's doing a great job. It's got the Boondocker's best friend in it. And if you do go boondocking, you don't want to run your generator, a fantastic vent fan. Those things are lifesavers if you're boondocking. Even if you don't have AC, just being able to circulate air can make a big difference in comfort. Even if you don't have AC. Um kitchen area i mean it's small but it's functional i mean this is a small motor home you do have a pop-up counter extender right here single basin sink with the sprayer i mean it's very well designed for the space that they have to work with three burner stove top actually looks like it's been cooked on wow <laughs> let's see here you got their oven yep it is a convection oven and a microwave oven so you can bake in this as well as nuke something Refrigerator freezer is an RV two-way, so it will run off of propane or electric. We guarantee it to work when you pick it up. Haven't had it on very long, but this is just a really quick video I did very little prep work on. Um, your bathroom is kind of hid behind these double doors, and these double doors basically become the privacy doors for your bathroom. And um, I'll show you here. We're going to open this one first and you open it up all the way. It's got a magnetic catch that holds it in place and you can do the same thing with this side and you've actually got for a 25 foot motorhome a very big bathroom. May not be big for a bigger motorhome but for this size this thing is huge. RV toilet, you've got a neo angle shower with a skylight. Uh, medicine cabinet, little sink area. They put a Corian counter on that. That's odd. And you're directly across from your main closet and your refrigerator in case you want a uh, shower beer. <laughs> and we're going to go to the back bed. I'm going to show you the only weird thing about this coach that the previous owners did. And this particular floor plan from the factory was set up so that you could have two twin beds where you could walk between them or one king size bed that you could only get to from this little area right here. And it looks like what the previous owners did, I don't know if one of them had back problems, had to have a custom mattress or what, but they had a custom mattress very thick mattress made for this side so it does not make the king bed of course from what i'm reading online most people because the king bed you had to crawl in and out of it kept it the twin beds anyway uh, because of that so you would have to 
do some more modifications back here if you want to make it back to where it functioned like it was factory so we're just going to call it twin bed model and leave it at that um you know if you certainly want to wait several months and get a, the the right um mattresses made by thor and order them yeah be my guest but i'm gonna sell it just like it is uh with the twin beds i mean i'm sure you could come in here and make something that'll work if you just had to have a king bed but i think most people once they use it and have to crawl in and out of that king bed a few times they're going to prefer the twin bed model so you can have a place to sit on your bed sit down on your bed and get in your bed get in and out of your bed easy and things like that so uh television right here got plenty of overhead storage and another fantastic vent fan was great spot for boondocking and you got, God, you got a lot of storage in this small motorhome. Pretty neat, guys. And I'm selling it way under NADA if you want to pull it up. I'm over 10 grand under NADA average retail with no added options and just adjusting for the miles if you want to pull it up. Uh, but like I said, I'm trying to do this one quick. So this one is $64,900 while it lasts. And, um, if you are interested in it, call right away at 706-965-7929. Probably not going to get released till closing time, so uh, you know, call Monday morning if you if you really want it. I, every one of these I get sells within days or hours in some cases. Everybody loves these little small Class A's, these 24 ones especially, because they're so small and easy to drive. And the good thing about it, even when the slide out's in, you've got full use of everything in this RV only thing you can't do is put your little table right here which by the way is in the closet by the fridge the table and the legs and they both look they all look great 64 9 haggle free firm we do guarantee the following systems for that price the roof air the generator we guarantee to run and drive like it's supposed to we guarantee the slide out to work correctly we guarantee water systems which includes water pump water heater it does have the tankless water heater you just turn it on, set the temperature, and by the time you get uh, you get uh, get your clothes off, get in the shower, you got hot water, and it's virtually unlimited as long as your water supply and uh, wastewater tank holds out. But it's 649 will trade. Now, guys, uh, just a quick announcement: uh, I'm I'm going to be taking a couple of days off uh, tomorrow, the eighth, which is not only Mother's Day, so Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, and and my mother and grandmothers who are no longer with us at least on in this plane of existence um you know happy mother's day and i love all of y'all um but guys um sunday is is me and my or me and my wife's uh wedding anniversary 23 year 23 years together or 23 23rd wedding anniversary sorry we've been together 25 years um so we are going to be taking a couple of days off, having a little mini vacation. Um, I'm probably going to take Monday and Tuesday off and be back Wednesday doing some more videos. So don't expect any videos to Wednesday. Um, so I don't take off very often, but you know, I am, we are going to take off a couple of days for that. So anyway, so happy anniversary, my wife, Crystal, love you, baby. And, um, we were definitely 23 years. I guess that's that's a pretty good accomplishment in this day and age. Let me know in the comments if you're married or or, or with your long-term partner. How long have you uh, how long have y'all been together? I'm just kind of curious. But um, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I I really appreciate it. Um, it's a nice little motorhome. Great way to end the weekend. You know, this is one that's just so easy to use. You can pretty much get it in any campsite. You know, you don't have to worry about size restrictions or anything like that. You know, it's it's a good, it's it's one of those floor plans that's great for a couple, but can also be used for a small family. You've got your cab over bed, you've got your sofa bed, and then your two beds in the back. So, I mean, you can still sleep up to five people if you wanted to. Um, of course, you know, it may be, a little cramped if five people were stuck in here all the time but you can swivel the front seats around for party seating 
so you can at least sit four or five people, you know, have a place for everybody to sit down. Um, of course, hey guys, it's camping, get outside, enjoy the outdoors anyway, if that's, you know, if that's what you're in it for. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 33,000 plus subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that bell notification button. Feel free to comment, guys. Um, just a it's a nice little motorhome. I like it. And um, guys, thank you all so much again. Stay tuned for more videos Wednesday. Y'all have a good weekend. Happy Mother's Day. And I will see you soon in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.